How can a polar bear hunt seal when the ice gives way underfoot? How can animals survive when their world is thrown out of balance? In parts of the Arctic, the sea ice is melting. The vast frozen ocean that encircles the North Pole is greatly affected by global warming. What would happen if the ice disappeared? Can the unique wildlife of the Great North adapt to the coming changes? Will global warming open a sea route through the once impassable Canadian Arctic, simultaneously creating the threat of pollution in this still virgin territory? Lots of questions, very few answers. As a result of global warming, a passage now opens up through the ice for a few short weeks in summer, allowing us to see for ourselves what's happening at the top of the world. Biologist Jean Lemire and his team took up the challenge. For a long time now, I wanted to see for myself the changing reality of the North. My dream took shape with Sedna, our magnificent 51-meter pre-mastered sailing vessel. And with the support of a group of friends, as passionate about this adventure as I am, Jeff, with 60 polar expeditions to his name, Mario, a specialist in northern wildlife, Sylvain, the skipper, Sylvie, our spirited cook, and Bruno, our chief engineer. We've left everything behind us to embark on this expedition. And what an expedition! Five months of navigation, 10,000 miles, more than 16,000 kilometers, through the maze of islands that form the Canadian Arctic. Five months to conduct field research and bring back images that will provide indisputable evidence of the major changes underway in the Arctic. The goal was to take advantage of the melting ice to repeat, exactly a century later, the exploit of the great Norwegian explorer, Roald Amundsen, and cross the legendary Northwest Passage. 